get ready to meet God. That was John the Baptist's cry. That's our cry today. It's the same message that comes from God's word today. The Lord is coming. He's coming to you. Get ready to meet God. How? How do you prepare the way into your heart for you to meet God, just as John the Baptist prepared the way to the people, for the people to meet God. It's in verse four of Mark chapter one. Mark one, verse four. This messenger was John the Baptist. He was in the wilderness and preached that people should be baptized, look closely, to show, that people should be baptized to show that they had repented of their sins and turned to God to be forgiven. Another great translation there. John's baptism was a baptism of repentance, not salvation. Listen, put the math together. It's, it's, it's really easy. He came to prepare the way for the Lord to be received into your heart, and the way he prepared the way is by calling you to repentance. Repent of their sins and turn to God to be forgiven. And as the people came to John to be baptized, this baptism was a sign that the people had prepared their hearts, their lives, to receive the coming of the Lord by turning from their sin and turning to God. Do you see it? I want you to really, really grab, grasp this. Something really similar happens today as we continue to call people to prepare the way of the Lord into their lives personally. We call them to acknowledge their sin, to turn from their sin and turn to God. That's how John the Baptist prepared the people to receive the Lord even physically. That's how we call people to prepare the way for the Lord to enter into your life. It's how you make a way for the Lord to not only forgive you, but to come into your life. Now, if you're thinking, hey, he's talking about a process of salvation, yes, I am. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, is salvation instant? Yes, say yes. yes. It's instant when it occurs, okay? Does it occur because you repeat a certain set of words after a certain person? Not necessarily. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But once it does occur, it's instant. And it's by faith alone, and God gives you that faith to believe, okay? But listen, everything still turns on. It starts with you understanding your sin, turning from your sin and turning towards the Lord so that you in your heart are prepared to receive him for who he is. That was John the Baptist's purpose. That's the word of God's purpose today. 